So our next learning objective is to evaluate internal controls over cash receipts and cash payments. So let's explore this. Okay, cash requires some specific internal control. Why? Because cash is easy, easy to steal and it is easy to convert to other form of wealth as well. More over all the transactions ultimately affect cash. All cash receipts should be deposited for the safekeeping in the bank. And companies receive cash over the counter and through the mail. It, it should be quickly submitted to the bank. So companies receive cash over the counter and through the mail. Each source of the cash has its own security measures. So cash receipts over the counter. So imagine a cash receipt over the counter in a departmental store. The point of sale terminal provides control over the cash receipts, right? Because it records the sales and it shows the cost of the goods sold and reduction from the inventory as well. So for each transaction of sales associated issues like receipt, uh, it generates receipts to the customer as a proof of purchase as well. So the sales associate turns into cash drawer at the end of the shift combined with the other cash and deposited to the bank account so your point of sale machine also show the balance and that balance should also be come uh, also be equal to the cash actually inside the tray of the point of sale and then the accounting department reconciles sales per terminal to a cash in draw right so for example, your point of sale says that okay, you made a sales of thousand, but your drawer shows a balance of fifty. So there are possibilities that either somebody stole fifty dollar, or either there is a error. So who ensured this error? The accounting department or departmental at the at that time, the manager who would take out the cash from the drawer. He reconcile it and he made the corrective entries but the question is that the employee can say that it's a human error don't worry about that and make a reverse entry so who gonna discourage this kind of theft he theft for example employee theft this $50 and he charges and he said to the accounting department it's a miscellaneous error or something it's a coke error so make a reverse entry so your internal control system will say that because it's a point of sale which includes three things uh, it records the sale cost of item and reduction in, in the inventory so when you see the point of sale it also acts as a control function over the discouragement of theft so how can you establish a control by cash received by mail so exhibit 411 tells you the procedure so many companies receive cash by mail so all incoming mail is opened by a mail room employee right here the mailroom then sends all the customer checks to a trader here who has a cashier deposit uh, the money in the bank right who sends the cashier to the bank to deposit the money the remittance advices go to the accounting department so the here the remittance uh, invoices go to the accounting department and he records it and send it to the control so you see that person is sending check only check to the trader and invoices to the accounting department 
so these two person are separate so we separated the bank uh, 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 banking activity and recording activity activity differently so in that case we minimize the theft or embezzlement or fraud situation here right so the check goes here deposit into a bank right remittance advices to the accounting department and bank sends bank banking statement to the controller and they match it to the so bank reconciliation is a controller control here in this case of check uh, cash received by mail and now controls over payments by check when you make a payment by check or electronic fund transfer so we you also basically establish an establishing an internal control so do not give cash instead write down checks because it is an internal control so companies make most payment by check or, or electronically fund transfer this should be a good separation of duties between operation and writing checks or authorities who are authorized to have eft cash payments so payments by check or eft is an important internal control why because check payment provides record of the payment plus there is a person who signed the check which is a different one and then the third one is the eft must be approved by the authorized official and the last is it should be supported by the evidence because you go to the bank and bank records the evidence that to whom they have paid so the other factor that keep in uh, you know uh, keep in mind when purchase uh, and payment by check the other one is fax or email purchase order you have records for this email as well receive goods and prepare a receiving report whenever you receive the goods you make a receiving report and send it to the accounting department who records it receive the invoice as well approve and agree all the, the documents so there would be must be an uh, authority who approve all these documents that how much is material is is is, is, is you know needed to be purchased from where home at what price all the documents must be approved and sends check or authorized and electronic funds transfer so that approving person should send the, the check by his own uh, signature or, or authority also if there is an electronic fund transfer then he will authorize the EFT as well okay to illustrate the internal control over cash payments by check suppose we have Atlantic mid-atlantic manufacturing uh, who buys some of its inventory from uh, uh, Haynes textile right so the purchasing and payment process follows three step as shown in the picture sorry uh, four steps so mid-atlantic faxes or email and electronic purchasing order to Hanes for example they have a plan to buy 100 t-shirts so Hanes textile ships the goods and sends an electronic or paper invoice back to mid, mid atlantic right so Hanes sent the goods and then mid atlantic uh, receives the inventory and prepares a receiving report to list the goods received which is mid atlantic receive the goods right so after approving and agreeing all the documents mid atlantic sends a check to hanes or e eft directly from its bank to hanes bank and at the end mid atlantic will say that okay we are, are already pay that one and we are good to go right 
so in that case you are establishing control how because mid atlantic already know that how much worth of goods are ordered and he sent back the inventory mean merchandise inventory here with the invoice as well to and they know that so nobody here has uh, uh, you know um, uh will try to forge these these invoices because they are directly sent by this company as well and there are two way communication here so before signing the check or approving the eft the trader department should examine the packets to prove that all the documents agree so when you are issuing the payments the trader department who are actually you know signing or sending the eft or signing a check you will see the purchase order invoice and receiving report as well and then payments are issued in that case you are establishing control over payment by check okay let's talk about the control over the petty cash so the introduction of the petty cash is that it would be a wasteful to write separate checks for example on day to day routine like executive taxi fares name tags you know coffee and tea charges you know water charges so therefore smart companies they keep a petty cash fund on hand to pay such a minor amount the word petty means small so that's what petty cash is a small cash fund kept to make on the spot minor purchases uh petty cash fund is opened with a particular amount of a cash who is solely uh, uh, and 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 it it is issued to a custodian who is solely responsible for the accounting department for each petty cash payment the custodian prepares a voucher and lists down all the items that he purchased and charges to the fund so maintaining the petty cash account at this designated balance supported by the uh, fund which is cash plus the voucher is how a, how an impressed system works in which you compare the cash balance with the vouchers as well so the control feature is that it clearly identifies the amount of which the custodian is responsible